Hello and welcome to Bags of Action. My name is Pete and this is a five minute Bags of Action review of Dead Man Down from 2013. Dead Man Down was directed by Danish director Niles Arden Opley, who also directed the original version of Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. And it was written by J.H. Wyman, who also wrote the film The Mexican and TV shows like Fringe and Almost Human. Now, the cast in this movie is very strong, with Colin Farrell and Numi Rapace, the original lead in Danish Girl with a Dragon Tattoo, who also appeared in Prometheus, in the lead roles. Alongside the likes of Dominic Cooper, who you may know as Howard Stark in the Marvel movies and was also in Stratton, F. Marie Abraham, Terence Howard, who was the original James Rhodes in Iron Man and who also appeared in Four Brothers. So, as I say, a good cast. So what is Dead Man Down about? In New York City, a crime lord's right-hand man is helped by a woman seeking retribution. That doesn't really tell you much about this talk crime thriller meets action movie, and with good reason. I can't say too much either, as this film is best watched cold so you can just see how it plays out. Now, I'd never heard of this film before until it popped up on Netflix as a recommendation, And when I saw the cast, I was surprised I'd never heard of it before. I'm a big fan of Colin Farrell in particular. So then, as the opening sequence went by and the production company credits came up, I noticed WWE Studios, the wrestling people, were part of this movie. And it did make me wonder. I looked through the IMDb list to see who else was in it. And it included Stu Bennett, who's a wrestler known as Wade Bennett. And I wondered, maybe if this is a WWE Studios co-produced film, perhaps it's like some of the other films where these big-name actors are more in cameos and the wrestler will be the star. But I needn't have worried. Stu Bennett is just one of the heavies, and it is Farrell and Rue Pace, who play Victor and Beatrice, who are the actors with by far the most screen time. So what can I tell you? Well, the script is really good, but the main performances are what truly elevates this of other films of its type. Michael Caine used to say that acting was all in the eyes, and that rings true here, as the movie's quiet moments are where you get a real sense of what Victor and Beatrice are thinking. The action is really strong, there are a number of shootouts throughout the film, which show how capable the Crime Lord's crew is, and Victor in in particular. They're really well staged and choreographed and put together. The plot has some surprises in it, and this is a film that will reward repeat viewings, as lots of the things it set up early are paid off very late in the film. Now, this kind of film doesn't always look great, but the cinematography in Dead Man Down is very good indeed. There are sequences where we follow the camera down through a spiral staircase that look absolutely superb, and the overall look and feel of the film is much higher end than you might expect from a movie like this that you haven't heard of. That's because the cinematographer is Paul Cameron, who also shot Man on Fire, Collateral, 21 Bridges and the remake of Total Recall. Now you could easily make this movie with someone like Steven Seagal or Scott Adkins in the lead role and with a much younger, lesser actress playing Beatrice. Instead, they made a $30 million movie. And I'd like to see more films like this. Well-written action movies with strong direction and a talented cast. This is the kind of film that someone like Tony Scott used to make all the time, but you don't really see much these days. Now, the critics didn't particularly like this film, and the box office results were disappointing. But from what I've seen online, the members of the public who did see this film really enjoyed it, and I did too. As I say, the two main actors made a big difference in that respect, and even when the plot was at its most implausible... You bought those performances and believed in the central characters and it gave you an emotional connection, which is what I'm looking for in an action movie above and beyond the great shootouts. There was one thing about the film's final act I didn't quite like story-wise, but that's a particular to me. But all in all, this is a top draw movie for its type and a reminder that Farrell is a great leading man. So with all that considered, and without being able to tell you very much about this crime movie, I'm going to give Dead Man Down a high three bags of action out of five, and I would highly recommend you see it. Like I say, go into it cold. So have you seen Dead Man Down already? If you did, do you agree with my assessment of it? Feel free to comment below, or of course you can get in touch with us via email, Facebook, or on Twitter. Now we have new episodes coming out regularly, 
including our full-length podcast with me and my co-host. Don't forget to give us a like and also to subscribe to the channel.